Hello everyone, today our topic is how to automatically generate and send increment letters with Google Sheets and Gmail. So I'm an HR and I automatically want to generate and send increment letters to all my employees who are going to get the increment. So for that what I have to do is I have to create a database in my Google Sheet where I'm going to add the details of all the employees who are going to get the increment. So after adding these details, I'm going to use these details to generate an increment letter by using the template that I've created in my Google Docs account. So after generating this increment letter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this increment letter shareable by using Google Drive and I'm going to get the PDF link of that document. So after getting this PDF link, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this increment letter as an attachment with my email to all my employees. So for that, what I have to do is I have to create a connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Drive and Gmail. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use trigger and actions. In trigger application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. In action application, first I'm going to use Google Docs. Then I'm going to use Google Drive. And in the last, I'm going to use Gmail. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take it to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can automatically generate and send increment letters with Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Gmail. So increment season is here. And as an HR, my toughest job is to create increment letters for all my selected employees. So generating and sending increment letters to employees takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. So what I did that I used Pabli Connect to automate this process of generating and sending increment letters. So what I did is that I used Pabli Connect to automate this process of generating and sending increment letters with Google Sheets, Google Docs and Gmail. So here in Google Sheet, I have created a database of all my employees who are going to get the increment and in Google Docs where I have created this template of my increment letter and by using this template, I'm going to create new increment letters for all my employees. So in this increment letter, I have all these details and I have created all these variables where I'm going to add the details of my employees and after adding that details, I'm going to get the new increment letter for my employee. And for sending this increment letter as an email, I'm going to use Gmail. So for this, what I have to do is I have to build a connection between Google Sheet, Google Docs and Gmail and I'm going to do this without any coding and programming skills. So here I'm going to use Pabli Connect and for that I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow for that I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up here. I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to generate and send increment letters with Google Sheets, Google Docs and Gmail. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow for that. I have to open this tab and in this tab, you will find all the folders that you have created in Pabli Connect. And in this, I'm going to use this folder of increment letters. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first. And here my trigger application is going to be Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheets here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new or updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and now I have to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect and for that I have to use Webhook URL and this is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So for connecting these two accounts, I have to follow all these instructions and first I'm going to copy this Webhook URL and now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet. And in this, I'm using this spreadsheet of employee increment details and we are in sheet one. And in this sheet, we have all these columns. So in these columns, I'm going to add the details of my employee that is going to get the increment. 
So I have the date, employee name, email, mobile number, designation, department, reporting manager, new CTC, new base salary, sender name, sender designation and status. So here I have to fill all these details of my employees. Now what I need to do is I need to connect this spreadsheet with Pabli Connect and for that I have to go to extensions and in this we need this particular extension of Pabli Connect Webhooks and in this we need this particular extension of Pabli Connect Webhooks and if you don't have this extension then what you have to do is you have to go to add-ons and you have to click on get add-ons and here it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for our extension which is going to be Pabli Connect Webhooks. So I'm going to open this and our extension will look like this. So we need to install this and I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. I will go back to extensions and here I have to go to public and web books. And now I'm going to open initial setup. And here we have these two options, web book URL and trigger column. So what I have to do is I have to first give my web book URL that I have copied from public connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I have to give a trigger column. So in my sheet, I have the column K, which is my last data entry column. So the trigger column is the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to webhook URL. So my trigger column here will be column K and as my column K is my last data entry column. So whenever the data of an employee will be filled in that particular column, then the data of that whole row will be sent automatically to Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to click on send test and here test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit. And my setup is configured successfully. So I'm going to close this and here I have sent the data of this particular employee automatically to public connect. Now what I need to do is that whenever I'm going to add the details of a new employee in my new row, then I also want to send that data automatically to public connect. So for that, what I have to do is I have to go to extensions. I have to go to public connect web books and I have to enable this option of send on event. So after enabling this option of send on event, what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to add a new row with the data of my new employee, then automatically that row data will be sent to Pabli Connect. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have the trigger column, which is column K. I have the spreadsheet name, which is employee increment details. And I have the sender name, which is Michael Karras. Sender designation is HR associate. I have the reporting manager, which, which is dummy manager. I have the new base salary, which is of 8 lakh rupees. New CTC is 16 lakh rupees. I have the mobile number of, of my employee. I have the name of my employee, which is demo user. Email is demo user at the rate pablitudes .com. I have the designation which is senior developer L3. I have the department which is development and I have the date which is March 19, 2023. Now that I have received all these details of my employee, now what I need to do is I need to use all these details and I have to create a new increment letter for this particular employee. So for that, what I have to do is I have to first set up my action step. And here I'm going to use Google Docs. So I'm going to select Google Docs here. And I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create document from template will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Google Docs with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. Now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. And here my connection is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to select my template document that I want to use to create a new increment letters. So for that, I have to take you to Google Docs. And here I have created this template for my document, which is named as increment letter. And I'm going to use this template to create new increment letters for my employees. So let's go back to public connect. And here for selecting a template document, you have to open this tab and you will find all the templates that you have created in Google docs account. And I'm going to use this increment letter template. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to give a new documents name. So for new documents name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the name of my employee. And after that, I'm going to give the title of increment letter. So my new document name will be my employee name and increment letter. So for giving my new documents name, what I have to do is I have to map the name of my employee and I have received my employee name from my Google Sheet response. So I'm going to map that here and I have to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets. And this is the name of my employee. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to give a title of increment letter. So this will be my new documents name. So every time I'm going to get a new employee details, then automatically the name of that employee will get replaced here and I will get a new documents name. Now I have to give my new documents location. So in my new documents location is going to be in my Google drive where I'm going to save my new documents. 
So for selecting the new documents location, I have to take you to my Google Drive account. And here on my Google Drive, I have all these folders. So I'm going to use this folder of increment letters. So I'm going to open this. So this is going to be my location where I'm going to save my new documents. So I'm going to take you back to Public Connect. And for selecting the new documents location, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have in my Google Drive account. And I want to use this folder of increment letters. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to map all these details. And these are the variables in my template. And in these variables, I have to give the, I have to give the details of my employee. So first I have to give the date. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google Sheets. And this is my date. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I have to give my employee name. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google Sheets. And this is my employee name, which is demo user. So I'm going to map this. Now I need the designation. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google Sheets. And this is my designation, which is senior developer L3. So I'm going to map that. Now I need the department. So I'm going to do the same. And this is my department, which is of development. Now I need the effective date. So effective date is going to be at the date from which this increment will going to start. So my effective date is going to be 1st of April. So I'm going to type that here. So my effective date is going to be same for all my employees. So that's why I've manually typed that here. So this is not going to change and, and all my increment letters will this effective date. But if you want to make this dynamic and you want to change the effective date for all your employees, then you can also map that here. Now I have to give the new basic salary. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets. And this is the new base salary. So I'm going to map that. Now I need the new total CTC. So this is the new total CTC. Now I have to give the sender name, which is Michael Karras, and the sender position, which is going to be HR associate. So I have filled all the required details. Now what I have to do is I have to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And in this response, I have this document ID. So this means that I have created a new document by using the document template that I've created in my Google Docs account. So I have created this new increment letter for this particular employee, which is named as demo user. Now to check this, I have to take you to my Google Drive and we are in this folder of increment letter. So in this, we can see I have this new document, which is demo user increment letter. So I'm going to open this and here we can see I have automatically created this new document. So in this, I have the date, which is March 19, 2024. This is my letter date. I have the name of my employee, which is demo user. Designation is senior developer L3. I have the department, which is development. And I have the subject, which is increment letter. So this is my effective date, which is 1st of April, 2024. I have the basic salary of 8 lakh rupees. Total CTC of 16 lakh rupees. And also I have the sender name, which is Michael Karras. Sender designation is HR associate. So here we can see that I have changed all the variables with the details of my employee. And I have automatically have created this increment letter for my employee. So here my connection between Google Sheets and Google Docs, Google Drive is working successfully. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here what I need to do is I need to make this document shareable so that I can send this document automatically to my employees. So for that, what I have to do is I have to add one more actions tab. And here my action application is going to be Google Drive. So I'm going to select Google Drive here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and share a file with anyone will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect Google Drive with Public Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. Now I'm going to click on allow to give access to my account. And my connection here is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to give a file ID. So I have created a new document for my, so I have created a new increment letter by using my Google Docs template and that has generated a document ID for me. So that document ID is going to be my file ID. So I have to map that. So I'm going to click here on this map button. I'm going to clear this default response. And here I am going to map my file ID. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google Docs. And here this is my document ID. So I'm going to map this. So here I have mapped this document ID, which is also my file ID. So what is going to happen is that every time I'm going to create a new increment letter, then it will generate a document ID and automatically that document ID is going to get replaced here. And I will get new document ID for my new increment letters all the time. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in the response, I have this ID which says anyone with link. So this means that I have made my file shareable and anyone that has the link of my file can access my file. 
And also in this response, I have this PDF link. So with this PDF link, I can access my document in PDF format. So I have made my file shareable and I have also received this PDF link. Now what I need to do is I need to share this document with my employee as an email. So I'm going to use this PDF link and I'm going to share this PDF link with my employee. So for that, what I have to do is I have to set up my last action tab. So I'm going to click here and here my last action application is going to be Gmail. So I'm going to select Gmail here and now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send email will be my action event. I'm going to connect Gmail with Pavel Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Gmail. Now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here and my connection here is successful. Now I have to fill all these required details to send an email. And first I need the recipient email addresses. So I have received the email address of my employee from my Google Sheets. So I'm going to map that here. So I have to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets. And this is my email address of my employee. So I'm going to map this. So my email is demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. Now I have to give the email subject. Now I have to give the email subject. So I'm going to type my email subject here. So my email subject will be congratulations on your increment. So this is going to be my email subject. Now I have to select my email content type. So I have to open this tab and here I have two options plain and HTML. So my email will be of plain type. So I'm going to select that. And now I have to give my email content. So I'm going to give the email content and the message that I want to deliver to my employee for their increment. So I'm going to type my email content here. So this will be my email content and in this I have congratulated my employee for their increment and I have told them that I have attached my increment letter in this email. So here in the employee's name, I'm going to clear this and I'm going to map my employee name. So I'm going to open this response of Google Sheets and this is my employee name which is demo user. So I'm going to map that and here after best regard, I'm going to give the sender name, Michael Karras and the position of my sender. So I'm going to clear this. I will open the response of Google Sheets. And my sender designation is HR associate. Now here I have mapped all the required details. Now I have to give the attachment link that I want to attach with this particular email. And in the attachment, I'm going to give the increment letter that I've just created for this particular employee. So for the increment letter, I'm going to map the PDF file link of that document that I've created for this particular employee. So getting the PDF file of that increment letter, I have to click here. I will open the response of Google Drive. And in this, I have this PDF link. So I'm going to map this. So this will be my attachment link. And now I have to give my file name. So I also have the file name in my Google Drive response. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Drive. And here I have the name of my document, which is demo user increment letter. So I'm going to select that. And here I have mapped all the required details. So every time I'm going to create a new increment letter for my employee, then automatically by using all these details, I'm going to send that increment letter with the email that I'm going to send to my employee. So I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have sent an email to my employee with the attachment of their increment letter. Now to check this, I have to take you to my Gmail account. And here we are on the send section and here we can see I have sent this email to this particular user, which is demo user email is demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'm going to open this and here I've sent this email automatically to my employee. So here I have the subject, which is congratulations on your increment. And I have the name of my employee, which is demo user. I have the email address of my employee, which is demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. And I have the sender name, which is Michael Karras and the sender designation, which is HR associate. And in this, I have the attachment file of the increment letter for my employer, which is demo user increment letter. So here we can see that I have sent this increment letter automatically to my employer via email. And this was the increment letter that I've just created by using Google Docs template. And I have sent this document in the PDF format. So here my connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Drive and Gmail is working successfully. So whenever I'm going to add a new details of an employee in my Google sheet that has going to get the increment, then automatically by using those details, I'm going to, I'm going to generate a new increment letter by using my Google docs template. And after generating that increment letter, I'm going to make that file shareable and I'm going to get the PDF link of that document. And I'm going to share that increment letter as an email to my employee. So all this is going to happen automatically. Now to check this, I'm going to go back to my Google sheet. And here I'm going to add the new details of an employee. So here my date will be same. So I'm going to add my date here. My employee name will be test user. Email will be 
test user at the rate pablitudes.com and I will give a random mobile number. Now I have to give the designation. So my designation will be junior developer L1. Department will be development. I have to give a reporting manager. So my reporting manager will be demo manager. My new CTC will be of 360,000 rupees. My base salary will be of 3 lakh rupees. I have to give the sender name. So my sender name will be Jesse Matthews. Sender designation will be HR manager. And my status will be of send. So I have filled all the required details here. So these are the details of my employee that is going to get the increment. Now what should happen is that automatically by using these details, our increment letter should be created for this particular employee and automatically that increment letter will be sent to that employee via email. Now to check this, I will take you to my Gmail account. I will go back. And here we are on send section and we can see I have sent this email automatically to this particular user which is test user and the email is test user at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'm going to open this email and here I have this subject which is congratulations on your increment and I have the name of my employee which is test user and I have the name of my sender which is Jesse Matthews designation is HR manager and in this I have this new increment letter for this employee which is test user increment letter. So I'm going to open this increment letter and here we can see I have created this new increment letter and I have sent this increment letter automatically to my employee whose details I have just added in my Google sheet. So the name is test user, designation is junior developer L1, department is development and the name of my employee is test user, subject is increment letter, effective date is April 1st 2024, base salary is 3 lakh rupees, total CTC is 3 lakh 60,000 rupees. And these are standard details, which is Jesse Matthews and the designation is HR manager. So here we can see that I have automatically have generated this new increment letter for my employee with the details that I have added in my Google sheet. And I have automatically sent this increment letter via email to this particular employee. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here my connection between Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Drive and Gmail is working successfully. And here I'm automatically generating and sending increment letters with Google Sheets, Google Docs and Gmail to all my employees. So now I summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action step and my first action application was Google Docs where I've used create document from template as my action event. Then I've used Google Drive and here my action event was share a file with anyone. And in the last I have used Gmail and my action event was send email. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.